Set it up. 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 So, what are you two doing this summer? I'm going to Hawaii. I'm going to study school because I filled out my classes. Oh, hey, Cameron. Oh, hi. Welcome to episode three of Set It Up 2013. We've got a lot of great movies for you. Our theme for this episode is movie genres. Each group chose a different genre. But before we introduce our movies, we want to introduce the people making them. So let's go. This episode, we wanted to give a special goodbye to a cool member who's been with us for a long time. Destiny Roberts has been a part of the Set It Up family for over three years now and has contributed as a leader and a movie maker. She has helped produce music videos, animation pieces, documentaries, and more. We'll miss you, Destiny, and best of luck on your next journey. Don't forget about us here at Set It Up. Hello, Mike. Uh, my name is Destiny Daniela Roberto. Um, and I just wanted to say that, uh, you know, thank you for allowing me to come in this place. Uh, it gave me an opportunity to, uh, express myself as well as, uh, get in touch with my community. And I just hope that, uh, I impact this place as much as it impacted me. For me, hair is like looking in the mirror and seeing how I feel that day. A lot of people would say that I'm like, you know, crazy, funny, random, witty, and that tends to come out a lot of my hair. Um, I have a hat on today because I just feel laid back, chill, <laughs> kind of like a cool cat, you know? And over the years, I've had a whole lot of different hairstyles. And I think hair does a really good job of um, kind of expressing someone's feelings. The documentary you're about to see is called From the Roots, and it's kind of touching bases on how hair can tie into culture. And we started it off with a kid study about hair. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you enjoy it. My name is Erica and I'm nine. My name is Frederica and I'm and, um, seven. My name is Libby and I am six. <laughs> um, the ugliest hair? I would go with this one. Why? Because because I think it will be look better, better straight or braided. Um, it looks kind of unusual. Mmm. This one. Why? Because it's too fluffy. Okay. So, which hair is your favorite? Which which one is the best? This one. Why? Because I like how it's straight and kind of curly. I like that this one looks really smooth. If you could have any one of those hairs, 
forever. Which one would you pick? Um, this one. Why? Because I like how it's long and holy. Where my mom comes from in Africa, um, some people don't show the real hair, so they might cover it a well, um, like a wig or something. Um, what don't you like about your hair? Um, uh, when it's nappy and if and when she comes it, it's it hurts when it's nappy. Is your hair naturally curly? Yeah. Is it poofy? Yeah. Do you like it poofy? Yeah. You don't like it poofy? Why don't you like it poofy? Because when it's poofy, it's nappy. If you could change one thing about your hair, what would it be? Um, for it to be long. Long? How long? Um, how it is right now. Like how long your braids are? Mm -hmm. You want to be that long? Some things they say they like my hair. And sometimes I get nervous because I feel like they don't like to see. I feel like that um they don't want to like see my hair. So when I go to school, I try to hide my hair, but um, but it's hard to. A lot of kids' minds are like sponges. They absorb things very easily, and they're very observant. Um, what I learned from the kids' piece was that the kids base their opinions off of what they see from the people around them. Next up, we interviewed Tanisha. She's an activist in Minnesota, and we wanted to get her perspective on hair. What is good hair? That's a loaded question. For me, um, there is no such thing as good hair or bad hair, but if you were to talk about good hair um, from an American culture viewpoint, um, that would be hair that is not kinky or hair that doesn't have um, a lot of, of curl or texture to it, um, straight hair, long. Um, the ideal um, beauty in regards to hair is usually more uh, of a European standpoint. And so it's very difficult as women of color to really um, be able to be comfortable with our hair and to do the things that we like to do with our hair when we have this competition of when we look at a magazine or when we look at a billboard of what we see on TV and what beauty, how beauty is defined in that way. The media plays a, a very large role in how we perceive ourselves and how we perceive um, not only ourselves, but what, what beauty is and what beauty means. I think media is responsible for a lot of um, women, young ladies, little girls, um, inability to have a really positive um, self-esteem in regards to their hair and, and within their own body image and beauty. I cut my hair because I, I needed to make a point, prove a point to my daughter and to my sisters and to the people around me around um, where we place our value and where we place our worth as women, um, specifically as black women. It was really important um, to me for my daughter to see that having long hair, having short hair really had nothing to do with my character, had nothing to do with um, my integrity or who I am or who I represent as a woman. Um, and I, I believe it was really important for me for her to see that lesson and what better way than for me to show her myself, not just point out things in a magazine or point out um, things if we happen to run across um, a woman with short hair out in the community or um, as we were shopping at the mall or anything. But I wanted her to see that I really held that value to be true and that's something that I want her to embrace. I'm not my hair and neither are you. <laughs> oh. I didn't think I had good hair until people started coming up to me and telling me that I have good hair and it's beautiful and everything about it is just so nice and they wish they had my hair. This is when I learned media affects the culture of hair and that you don't need to let media define you.
So, oh, what up, Cuz? Um, what's, what's your video about? Yeah, man, check it. We've been in the recording studio for about like three months now. True, true. And we've been making this whole new rap. True. Completely original OC. Yeah. That's right, homie. We've been uh, we've been spitting some hot fire. We've been uh, playing down some trap beats, and uh, it's probably gonna drop like today, or tomorrow, or right now. You know, it could be whenever. But uh, yeah, we we working on it right now. Well, let's just go and watch it. J J J J Fix Productions. Well, I never did school. I don't hang out with thugs. I don't talk back to teachers. I don't do any drugs. Never go to any parties. Never broken any laws. Never sagging down my pants. Never showing off my draws. Never getting into fights unless we talk it out verbally. Cause I don't want no trouble. That's the thing that's quite absurd to me. I'm swerving. See, I'd rather be in school to get that currency. So if you bought that life, well, then you probably never heard of me. Yo, my name is Special K, but I don't do Special K. Don't don't do marijuana, heroin, coke or crack cocaine. Don't do PCP, reef for trees, up is down as ecstasy. Roofies, mollies, codeine, bath salts, mushrooms, acid, LSD. If you don't believe me, I will pee up in a cup. And I'll pass it with ease just to shut your ass up. Cause I'm not about that life. Anytime, any place, anywhere, any way, any kind, any day except Tuesday. On Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday. Yeah, the rules don't apply, there's a party in my mind on Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday, on Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday. Yo, I got a nice car, but my wheels ain't spinning about 13 inches high where my ride be sitting. I'll be whipping with my mom, cause I only got a permit and I can't afford a muffler, so you probably have heard it. And it goes, that's the sound that it makes, and I gotta drive slow cause I can't afford brakes. That's just how it goes when you're putting lives at stake But you only live once, so that's a chance that I take Yeah, we whipping down the street in this tricked out car But we running out of gas, we ain't going very far If we run out, it's all good, cause we ain't in the hood We in the suburbs getting hyphy just like everybody should And we way too tight, so you need a pair of pliers And we going to ham like my homie Oscar Mayer That's the day in the life of two real G's, me and Kyle I'll turn it up, turn this up if you feel me. On Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday, yeah, the rules don't apply. There's a party in my mind on Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday, on Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday, on Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday, yeah, the rules don't apply. There's a party in my mind on Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday, on Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday. Hello everyone, and welcome to our green screen training. As you can see, we're in St. Paul. That is definitely St. Paul. Hey Andrew, I want to show you this awesome uh, time and relative dimension and space app that I downloaded. You want to check it out? Yeah, that sounds awesome. Let's travel through time and space. All right, man, I'm just going to set it to random. Let's do this. Let's do it. All right. Oh, this place is beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Nice and warm. It's very tropical. Yeah, very tropical. This is nice. I like this, but uh, how about we try a different one? I agree. Let's go. All right, another random one. Oh. I feel kind of weightless out here. Yeah, I do. This is definitely not Earth. This is not Earth, man. Uh, what worries me is that we're not wearing suits, so lack of oxygen. That's a fair point. Uh, I'm feeling a little bit lightheaded. Let's get out of here. Let's do it. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be swimming. Um, isn't your iPad gonna get ruined? Oh, no, it, uh, it has a, this app comes with a force field that protects it when the app is open, so it's fine. Oh, well, I feel like we should go somewhere else. Yeah, let's get out of here. All right. 
Hey guys, so hey. Max, nothing. What's your piece about? It's a dramedy. Yeah, it's about these guys in an airport and they make everything really big when it's unnecessary. Well, let's go watch it. This airport's so crappy. Just like it's people in the service. Yeah, and they play their music really loud too. Hey! What kind of headphones are those? They're Apple Y. Because they're so old. Yeah, Beats is where it's at. Man, Aaron could afford Beats. Maybe set your money more wisely, this wouldn't be a problem. How about you give me the money? Right. I didn't think so. Right. At least we don't have to see those headphones anymore. Right? <laughs> 
Welcome to Sonic. What would you two like to order? A Whopper, a large fry, and a Diet Coke. Oh, sorry, sir. We don't sell Whoppers here. Unbelievable. I'm pretty sure you do. I'm pretty sure we don't. I'm pretty sure you do. Can I get a Whopper? Sir. Can I get a Whopper? Can I get a Whopper? Sir. Can I get a Whopper? Can I get a Whopper? Sir. Can I get a Whopper? Can I get a Whopper? Sir! Please stop. We don't sell Whoppers here. You know what? This place isn't good anyway. Attention all guests. Due to weather conditions outside, all flights will be delayed five minutes. Thank you for flying Delta Airlines and have a fantastic day. My wife suspected me home right away. I can't be late five minutes. I'm very sorry, sir. My husband suspected me too. I'm very sorry, man. What's with your accent? What are you talking about, sir? You sound like a hillbilly cowboy. I'm sorry, sir? You sound stupid. That's not nice, sir. What am I supposed to do here for five minutes? There's a lot of things you can do in five minutes, sir. Like what? Uh, read like that young lady right there. That's what I think about your reading. Hey, Oh, hey, Sam. How's it going? I'm good. You look happy. Yeah, we're premiering the episodes from episode three. Oh, good. So I heard you're making yours, right? It's a short little piece interviewing the Set It Up volunteers about their experience growing up in St. Paul. Cool. Let's watch it. All right. Not much to do. It's a, a bigger city, but it's not the bigger city. Minneapolis is the bigger city, so it's almost like living in a smaller city. Um, St. Paul, there's a lot of friendly people that live in St. Paul. It's nice for families and people who work here, but doesn't really have a nightlife. My name is Damien. I lived in Texas, then I moved to Minneapolis, and now I live in West Haven. My neighborhood is not the best part of St. Paul, but it's also not the bad part of St. Paul. Oh, well, I live by a school, so there's always kids screaming and laughing and doing things. My name is Andrew, and I was born in St. Paul, Minnesota. I grew up in Como Park neighborhood. Um, my neighborhood's filled with a lot of elderly people. Um, I only had really one friend that I knew that lived close to me. And um, it's a very quiet neighborhood. My name is Sammy and I came from Ethiopia when I was four and I grew up in Liberty Plaza, St. Paul. It's a pretty chill place. It's diverse and there's always something to do for you. Um, growing up in St. Paul, I remember um, living really close to everything. My favorite thing about St. Paul are the libraries. Um, when I first moved here, my mom was a librarian before we moved here, so we would always go to the libraries, and I love the smell of books. Um, what else about St. Paul? Um, there's always all sorts of different types of food, all sorts of different places it comes from. When I think of St. Paul, I think of downtown St. Paul because that's where I live and that's the view I always see. Um, the smells I smell, it depends where I'm at because sometimes it smells really nice and sometimes it really stinks. So there's a lot of different smells to St. Paul. It smells like charcoal because there's a train that goes by. So it just smells like train. My favorite smell of St. Paul is um, just the smell of like the trees and in the summertime at night when there's someone's you know, having a bonfire in their backyard. I love the smell of fire. I like to like leave my window open at night. Sometimes you listen to cars go by and like people blaring the music and stuff. It's like, 
it never actually quiets. I mean, it gets slower, but there's always something going on, and there's always someone doing something. If I left, I would miss... I would miss the bus, because it takes me everywhere. Even though I don't like riding the bus, St. Paul has a nice bus system. I would miss Mickey's Diner. They have good food. I would miss the air because there's so many trees. And the air quality is nice. I'd miss the Four Seasons. I'd miss the snow. I'd miss Emily Crumberger. Yeah. It's my home, you know, so I would miss like knowing all the familiar places, always going to the rec centers. Um, yeah, that's about it. I don't know, it's my home. I miss my, my home. <laughs> Those are some really good movies. Yeah, but what about your movies? Oh yeah, we forgot to mention ours. I'm making a mystery movie spoof. And I'm doing a talk show. Hosted by me. Let's go watch them both. Cool. You going? Yeah, I'm on the little business trip. All right. All right, bye. See you on Same. Oh, Sam. The little curly thing. Yeah, okay. Sam, I have trapped you in the garage to test your wit, skill, and endurance. You have no food or water. And you'll probably die unless you escape. Here are three clues to your survival. Don't look down. Look to your salvation. And the final clue is that you must look to where these clues lead. Good luck. X O O X X X O X O X X O X X O. What the heck am I supposed to do with these? Ugh. It's a combination lock. With the codes. <gasps> the other clues! Don't look down, look to your salvation, and the final clue is that you must look to where the clues lead. I got the third one, but look to your salvation and don't look down? Well, that'll be a get down. I so got this.
<sighs> what do I do? Ooh, ladder. Smart. Woo! I got it. The next part of the code. Whoa. Ah! Ow. I would do anything for a jar of Nutella right now. <sighs> Find the next one. Where's the other one? Salvation. What's salvation? Food! There's no food in here. It's a garage. Who puts food in the garage? Oh my god. It's like I've never eaten and now I'm eating. Oh my oh, oh my god. Mm. Mm. It's so good. I love it really, really good. No sense I haven't read this before. Now I got the answer. I can figure out how to get the freak out of this place and survive! Woo! Three codes, one box. Seven. No. Uh, one seven five. Nope. Seven one five. Please work. messed up fooled you ha 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 oh this whole time I could have just unlocked it oh. So we can plan your surprise birthday party. you beautiful people out there, how you feeling? How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. This is Salisa's talk show. Tonight we're going to be having a special guest for St. Paul Public Schools, a teacher and a student to talk about their issues they have with each other. So our first guest we're going to be bringing out is Mr. Simmons and he's a math teacher. <laughs> Woo! Hello, 
Mr. Simmons. Hi, Felice. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. How about yourself? I'm doing good. Well, that's good. Can you tell us about your experience as a teacher? Well, I love the pay. <laughs> the pay? The song? Just the pay? Well, I mean, I love working with the students, too. Um, you know, the ones I want to work, anyways. Uh, the other ones, I just kind of send them out. Why do you just send them out? I feel it's not my job to, you know, get them working if they don't want to work. But your job is to work with them, teach them, and have patience with them, right? Are you trying to tell me how to do my job, Celise? Um, no. Can you go to commercial break? I'm on PC. I'm a Mac. And I'm a banana. Welcome back. Next guest we're going to bring out is Daisha. She's a student from St. Paul Public School. Come on, Daisha. <laughs> Hello. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. How are you feeling at school? Do you want to be honest? Mm -hmm. Honestly, I feel like I'm going to school with a bunch of phonies. Who are you referring to as a phony? The teachers. I am not a phony. <clears throat> I am a hard, dedicated teacher. And if you kids would put forth the effort, maybe you would learn something. Let's be honest. That work could be a little too hard. Well, what are you suggesting I do? Sit down and put, take your hand and teach it to you? How about Mondays and Tuesdays? We had like a, a work session so kids can actually understand what's going on, man. Well... I suppose I could work that into my time schedule. That would be fine. Okay. I'll tell my friends about it. Problem solved. Only on a Sleeve show. All right, that's our show. Hey, guys, aren't you forgetting something? What? Uh, our second movie. Second movie? Yeah. About senioritis. Well, then what are we waiting for? Let's watch Destiny Dorachu's and Michaela's second movie. Guess what we still gotta do? What? Our freaking film project for our class. Oh, oh no. no. We still oh, figure this out. We literally no. have nothing. Every time we try to do it, we just can't. Let's try to think. I got nothing. Me either. Let's go get some snacks. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have an idea. What? I think we should do something about aliens. Alien? Maybe we could be aliens and go to Mars and bring back world peace. We you know our peace actually has to be good, right? It's worth our whole grade. Talking about aliens and world peace. I don't know about y'all, but I'm trying to enjoy my food and my show. I'm tired, you guys. Nobody can stop you from taking it. You just take it, right? You know, guys, it'll be tight. I like that. We have superpowers. I mean, superheroes do whatever they want. That's cool. Man, I wish we had some superpowers. Right? Sorry 
Man, I wish we had some TV powers. 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 Man, where is she? Right there, she's sleeping. Look, look, she's not even there. Look. Oh my god. Maybe she went to go get some breakfast. Maybe. I'll go check. Where'd you go? Yeah. I was here the whole time. What do you mean? You were like turning invisible and flickering on and off. Thank you guys for going crazy. And if she watch this. T go to the bathroom. Go. Come back, come back. See that? Whoa. See what Why did you want to run like that? How did I run? Like I know. I don't know. Like really fast. And watch. That was weird. Hold on. Mmm. Pizza rolls. You're thinking? About pizza rolls. I was just gonna go get some. You know what sounds really good right now? Dairy Queen. And you? You want some Dairy Queen. How'd you know? Okay, this is getting really freaky. Does anybody notice our outfits? <laughs> okay. what is, is this some type of joke? <laughs> Who did this? <laughs> Why is my hair like this? <laughs> I think I might have known what happened. What? After you guys went to sleep. I was just playing around. I just said that. Man, I wish we had some TV powers. Oh. What are we going to do? We have powers. We can we can run the world. We can skip our project. <gasps> yes. Let's do it. Yes. yes. Hey, I'm driving this time. Cool. No, no car. car. I'm really glad we got these new shirts. It makes us look more of like a, a unit. unit. Yeah. I love it too. You know what? Now that we're superheroes and we have superpowers, we need to come up with a super plan. Yes, we do. Good idea. A plan that'll stop all of our classmates having to do work. Yes. Guys, I got it. What? We're gonna call it Operation No Work. Ah, I clever. Like it. So we got the plan. We got the plan name. Operation No Work. It's time to execute it. Let's do it. To the supermobile. What? You know, I'm just a mind reader. Operation No Work is made of four basic steps in order to succeed. The question is, will we? With our almighty powers, we can conquer the world. So I'm sure we can conquer this classroom. Let's put this into effect. So is anybody gonna press the button? Oh, right. Operation No Work is made of four basic steps in order to succeed. The question is, will we? Part two features a very angry mom. Where are these kids at? I wonder where they're at and her banana.
Will they conquer their plan? Or will they learn something new? That was a really good movie. Well, they're all awesome movies. Thanks for watching the final episode of 2012-2013 Set It Up. Yeah! Woo!